Welcome everyone, it's Andrew from IDB here. We're going to take a look at the brand new Control Center inside of iOS 11. And yes, Control Center kind of got a remake last year with iOS 10, but this is completely different than what it was before. No longer is it three separate panes, it is one pane and they use 3D touch to activate each of the individual controls. So for instance, if I 3D touch on that there, I actually get all these other ones like toggling cellular data, which is super useful. Then we move on, we have a music control here. You can see the actual album art playing, control the volume, play pause, forward rewind, tracking the music, as well as airplay options in that top right hand corner. So after music, we have these kind of standard controls on top. We have the rotation lock, and all these have really nice little animations. I love the little animations they put in to these different controls. Uh, but with anim we have the rotation lock as well as do not disturb. We have the screen mirroring button, so I can actually just mirror my screen. Uh, 3D touching here, seeing any capable devices like my living room Apple TV. We have the brightness on the screen, which also builds in night shift, so you can control it up and down as well as toggling night shift on and off right below that. Then we have volume. It's volume. It does what volume does. And then below here are more customization ones that you can actually control. So we have, first up I have HomeKit, because I have many HomeKit capable devices. We have the flashlight, which still goes up in those uh, four different intervals you can control, or just tapping on it will quickly turn it on and off. We have a timer, so you can go in here and actually control the length on this timer, everywhere from like you know, one minute up to you know, a couple hours. Then we have the calculator, which just allows you to jump to the calculator or copy the last result. Camera, still like before, allows you to do those different things like taking a portrait or a selfie. This is new, it's an Apple TV remote built into the control center, so I can just swipe up, 3D touch on that, and control my Apple TV without ever having to actually launch into the actual Apple TV remote application. Also new is screen recording. Just by tapping on this button, I can start a screen recording and record whatever's on my iPhone. Then of course we have the wallet, which will jump you to the wallet or pull up your last uh, card that you'd like. Now if we go into settings, you can actually control the control center. So here you can see all the ones that I've included so far. And here are more controls that you can turn on or off. And yes, this list is much more than it was in the past and hopefully it'll be really easy to add new controls to the control center. And you can also change the order. So all the ones on the bottom, you can actually change the layout of these. So all of these ones here are gonna be small compared to a couple of the big ones that are a little bit larger on the top. But as I put them in, you can see they start showing in. And if I drag and drop the arrangement inside of the control center and settings, it'll reflect that in the actual control center. If you do add all of them, it gets to be a quite of a big of a list and it starts to look a little bit messy, but it does allow you to scroll to keep seeing more. We have new ones for voice memos, for text sizes. This is really cool. You can just kind of change the dynamic text size really quickly. We have stopwatch. We have low power mode. That's going to appease a lot of people. We able just to toggle low power mode by swiping up inside a control center. We have guided access and accessibility shortcuts, which are not really activated at this point. We have the do not disturb while driving, and we have the alarm, similar to what we had in the past. And we have zoom in and out. We have notes, creating a note, and jumping to notes, as well as everything else that we just looked at. So how do I feel about Control Center? I think it looks a little bit clunky and a little bit kind of boring, but overall I absolutely love the idea and I love the added uh, features and the 3D touch expanded here inside a Control Center. So let us know what you guys think of the new Control Center down below in the comments. Make sure you subscribe and until next time, it's Andrew for IDB.